Hello, I think I will start a new series where I discuss uh, functions that are not very well known. Um, I might do that once a week or twice a week, depends a bit on my uh, schedule. But the idea would be to present functions that are not very well known from packages that are, I guess, not released on CRAN yet, or if they are still very niche, uh, something that is uh, maybe just solving one particular issue but that I find very useful. And um, I today what I will show you is the lookup function from the lookup package that you can find on GitHub. So I will link that uh, the, the GitHub link in the description. It's a package made by Jim Hester. Um, I think he's a software engineer in uh, at our studio and it's a very nice package. So um, let's see what it does. So imagine that you are uh, working in R and you want to look at the source code of a function. So what you can do in R um, is, for example, imagine that I'm working with the janitor package and I, I want to know how the tabil function works. So here you see that uh, if I write tabil without any parentheses, I should be seeing the source code, but what I see, what I see instead is this use method tabil. Um, let's try maybe with some base function. Yeah, this one also shows you primitive SQRT square root, so you don't you're not seeing any source code. Um, I guess you know if you use any of these base functions, you'll have the same result because all these functions, I, I think, are um, what's happening here is that it's not R code. They're not written in R. They're written in C or Fortran or something like that. You can find functions that are written in pure R. So if you just write the um, the function name without any parentheses, you will you will um, you will be able to read the source code. Okay. I don't know if we can find any like that um, easily. Maybe no. All, everything that is base, I'm not sure. I mean, I think it's all compiled. Um, anyway, I I don't think even mean that's for sure. Yeah, mean is also use method meet. So. You can't read the source code of these. Now, if you download a package from, for example, if you download one of my uh, my packages that I've I've written that contains some of my helper functions that I use, for for example, my my blog uh, team. So when I do a ggplot, uh, I have this uh, theme that I've written that uh, goes well with my blog. So this is pure R. So if you write the name of the function without parentheses, you'll be able to read the source code. But what do you do about this? What if you want to read the source code of Tabil, of uh, square root, etc.? Well, the lookup package that you can uh, install from um, GitHub is here to help. So this uh, package has a function called lookup. And uh, what it does is that it looks up where the source code is. Uh, for example, if I go with, uh, let's go with SQRT, and it will fetch the code. So I think it goes online to get the code. So um, I think it, it downloads it from 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 um, some repository, I guess. Um, anyway, you see here the C source code to the square root function. So uh, I just wrote lookup square root. Uh, I had to wait a little bit. And now I have, uh, so this uh, the function is defined in the source file called arithmetic.c. And uh, that's, here it is. Okay, so if, you, if you're not uh, familiar with C, this uh, maybe is not very helpful, but if you are familiar with C, then you can read that, you understand where it's coming from, etc. Um, I guess here yeah, in this case, from like, I, I haven't done a lot of C in a lot of time, but this seems to be something, uh, so it doesn't seem to be like the source code of square root itself but it seems to be a bit more complex here. Yeah. So I don't know if you could really go to... One of my cats is uh, throwing up. Great. Um, anyway, that's all I want to show you, so I'll have to clean that mess. Um, but yeah, if, you, if you're writing something like... Uh, so let's go back to uh, the janitor table function. Um, so you're asking okay, which S3 method because you have tabil for data frames and you have tabil default, which I guess uh, is maybe for matrices, I don't know. So let's go with all. And here you can see the source code. So this is pure uh, R code. So here you can uh, scroll up and you can read. Okay, so that's the definition of the function that you couldn't read before. So here I guess it's more helpful. Uh, if it's pure C and you're not familiar with C and even here, 
actually, um, if I go back to my square root function, I think it's even more nested than that because this does not look like it's, re it's returning the, the source code of square root, but rather the source code of another function that calls square root if you're calling square root, but it will call uh, exponential if you're if you want exponential and so on. So I don't think this is here yeah, very helpful for this example, but here for Tabil you see uh, you get the um, the R source code. So that's all I want to show you. Look up. Uh, I'll link it in the description. Take a look at it. I think it's quite useful. Can really be uh, helpful in, uh, in if you want to read source code of some functions. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll be doing short videos where I present just one function more and more, maybe twice, once or twice a week. Uh, we'll see. And uh, I'll try to focus on, uh, as, as I said, functions that are not well known from packages that are not well known but quite useful and by not well known one of these criteria is uh, it's not on CRAN but maybe some will be on CRAN we'll see anyway have a, a good one and see you next time